Okay, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am preparing for my 23rd so for the past like I don't know how many years I guess it started when I was 18 when I was 18 I like made sure my friend took a picture of me on my birthday I remember I was in front of my fireplace in my childhood home and I was looking off and I was like this and then the caption was looking back on my childhood like this and since then i've always made it a point to post a picture have a picture taken like for my birthday like in honor of my birthday i remember 19 i was like in my fur coat i thought it was the shit in that fur coat and it was like my caption was 19 comma nasty with a kiss and honestly i could tell you about when i was 19 because i was nasty 19 like i was out there but that's for a different vlog um <laughs> But by 20, that's when I started like investing in the quality of the photo. I hired this photographer that I'd worked with before in the past who was really good. And you can see a huge difference between the photos taken for 18 and 19 versus 20. 20 was like a game changer. It went on to be my headshot for acting when I was in North Carolina. And then from there, the bar was just raised. 21 has been my favorite so far because 21 was like, I'm grown and sexy, like black and white. I thought it was just the most like classic, like shoot that I've done. Like I thought it was great. I, I still love it. I think I'm gonna post some pictures from it the week of my birthday because I love that shoot so much. And then for 22, whew. That birthday was stressful. I was living with my ex-boyfriend. I didn't go home for Christmas that year. It was like COVID time. I was honestly so miserable, but I had a friend who was a photographer. Honestly, my ex was a photographer and he told me he was gonna take my birthday pictures. Lying ass nigga, but he didn't cause he was mad at me and he would always just get mad, whatever, whatever. But I got a friend of mine to take some and they turned out really cool. They were definitely like, a different vibe than I'm used to for shoots and because he just has a different creative vibe but I love the way they turned out I posted them and yeah but it was very like last minute like I didn't buy a dress for it I just wore a dress I had but like I thought the location and I just had so much fun shooting with him but this year for 23 I'm working with another friend that's a photographer he's taken in some of my favorite photos of me like legitimately some of my favorite photos of me were taken by this man so i'm excited to take my birthday photos with him i have a few outfits and it's 5 11 i have to go down to long beach so let's go packed my bag i mean if y'all want me to do a little what's in my model bag whenever i'm going to a shoot i can definitely tell you i had the privilege of being an assistant for a couple months of this like cool model really big signed an nda can't say who it is but she taught me so much about like prepping for a shoot getting ready what i need so every time i like have to prepare for a shoot i think of her because she really just helped me figure out what to do and kind of set a standard of i need this 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 so i have this mental checklist because I would have to like prepare her bag, you know, so now I know what to prepare for myself. And that's why assistant work is so great because you're really learning on the job. But let's go car vlogging about to leave for um, Long Beach. I really just wanted to see what it looked like in my car and look very orange, which I like. Also, don't look directly at this. Okay. <laughs> So I made it to my friend's studio and this is crazy. This is insane. My friend, What's this good? is my friend. It's dark, but once the spotlight's on, I'll show my friend. And if you're in the LA or Long Beach area, you need to reach out to him and I'll put his contact info below. So this is my actual birthday dress. I got it from Opali. Ooh, look at that spotlight. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, I should I should get the cake open. So I got this little birthday cake just just to pose with. 
and I should prep it, right? That spotlight's crazy. It's giving the Gideon's out. <laughs> smeared the happy birthday but you know what it's like the cake's not the star of the show it's me the cake is merely a prop okay please don't judge me by my music these are just my like hype songs right now no judgment that cake i got for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to get an ice cream cake. This is proof that smart people do dumb things sometimes. And that's okay. It served its purpose. I guess. Okay, hi y'all. It's Tyla from the future. I'm editing and I realized that I forgot to close out the video. But here's a quick little recap of what happened. We ended up smoking after the shoot. When I smoke, I yell it absent-minded. Funny story, I'm actually doing a dry January and a sober January. So I have been completely sober for 21 days now. And you know, I can do a whole video on that. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you all the final images. Um, yeah, just cause I know I showed all the other like birthday pictures. So without further ado, here are the pictures. Thank you so much for watching this vlog make sure you watch the other parts of this birthday series we have a behind the scenes birthday photo shoot which was this video we have a birthday dinner vlog and the food is scrum delicious you get to see how i prepare for that and then we have the tea baby the finale the birthday turn up where all the drama went down and honestly there's just a lot that happened in that video there's just there's a lot that happened um friendships were broken people betrayed me i confronted people if you want the drama if you want the tea you'll tune into that video that is the birthday turn up video i actually haven't named it yet but that's kind of what it will be in this three-part birthday series so thank you so much for watching